I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Yo, yo. Day in the life with the Pakistani Pampa, yeah? Right, listen, guys, just not long, not long woken up, yeah? So longly, you know, fucking my English is a bit mad. It's 7.57, yeah, I'm going to go out for morning cardio now, just a morning walk for about 45 minutes, an hour. Wake up, take my T3, take my T4 that my doctors prescribed me from Pakistan. Take my growth. Clean Turbo's piss. There's Turbo, probably hungry. And then if I go in here, I'm going to assume... Yes, my cats are waiting to eat as well, right? So I'm going to sort out and I see you lot outside. Yo, yo, guys, thank you for still staying tuned in. It's been about 14 seconds. Hope you're not too bored, right? Guys, in this YouTube, yeah, I just want to document my life, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, how it is to be a bodybuilder with a not elite genetics. You know, someone who has to work a little bit, well, way harder than most people to even get a little bit of results. Just like in this series, I'm just going to cover like the basics of bodybuilding, my opinions on training, my opinions on how you should eat, like what I like to do in my day-to-day -day life, why I'm out today on a morning walk. Just like the basics, man. And I don't want to overcomplicate anybody with these mad scientific words. You know, oh, you lot know what I'm about to say right now. None of this metabolic pathway mTOR complex into the amino chamber in your ass. Fuck that. Listen, this is straight up basics, yeah? If you want to hear all that scientific bullshit, then you know which twat you need to go follow, yeah? Go follow that idiot. Me and Turbo right now. Turbo! Yes, boy. Yeah, every, so every morning, I come out for a walk for like, what? Um, 45 minutes, one hour. Getting about six, 7,000 steps. Clear my mind. Think about what we're gonna do in the day. I'm already planning out, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna check in four of my clients. I'm gonna ring up X, Y, and Z to sort this and that out. Then I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go later on, take my wife to the hospital. And after that, I'm gonna go to the meat shop. So I'm really trying to plan out my day, right? In the morning. So I wake up, come for a walk, plan my day out. Any thoughts that I wanna get out of my head, I get out of my head now. Like, this isn't no pity party, yeah? I had a lot of shit going on in life recently and these morning walks really been helping like my, my mind and that, yeah? Um, and just keeping my mind on a, on a nice path. So yeah, I'll see you lot in a bit when I see the horses, hang tight deck. Daily link up between turbo and deck. Come on then. Hey, I see this horse every day. What you doing, boy? I'm a little bit scared to I'm a little bit scared to touch it, I can't lie. It's a horsey. It's a horsey. Oh. Equipoise only used on horses, ain't it? Yo, just a little tip. Just a little tip here for anyone who's doing morning walks as well or any sort of morning cardio. I like that I like to always carry, yeah, a little bottle of lukewarm water. Well, quite warm actually, past I say a little bit hotter than lukewarm and I just find having that on an empty stomach with a little bit of glutamine, a little bit of lemon juice just helps my stomach set up for the day don't know the science, don't really care, works for me try it, if it works for you let me know in the comments yes guys, so I just got back now, yeah I've done um, 6,412 steps I'm quite happy about that for my short legs anyway so what I do is I come home, um, feed the cats, and I feed the dog Turbo first, right? Oi, sit. Wait, 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 go. Yeah. I feed them first, and then I'll get my own breakfast sorted out that you're gonna see in a second. Yo, so for meal one, I have got three whole eggs, three egg whites, two toast, an apple, and 20 grams of whey, and I'm gonna watch my boy, Jamie Jahal, AKA the giant. 
while I get meal one breakfast in. Yo, so after meal one breakfast, I like to get my multivitamins and shit in, yeah? Vitamin C, red yeast rice, trained by JP Vital Support, Omega Pharma Pro by Drip JP, Live 52 for the liver. We're gonna have some milk thistle as well, double double dosage. Trained by JP's Love Heart. And that is it for breakfast supplements. And now I'm gonna go check in some clients. Oh! Let's send for pussy all day. Man ain't big like, man ain't big like Riz. Come down your house and take out your wig and bang you in the face, man cool deck. What did I say? What did I say, bro? Come down your house, meet and turbo. We're gonna bang out, yeah, we're gonna bang out you, fam. Take all your gear, take all your primo, we know. You use Decca. Big like what? Big like Ben. Yo, so it's time for meal two right now, yeah? We are gonna do 250 grams of bassa fish, which I've got in the air fryer. Big up everyone who told me to get one of these, they're wicked, yeah? So that's in the air fryer for another 20 minutes, that'll be done. I'm gonna use garden peas as the veg. Three minutes in the microwave, they're banging. And then microwave rice, two minutes, done. Eating healthy and clean is so simple, you ain't gotta overcomplicate it. All right, guys, I microwave and cook stuff quickly a lot of the time. Yo, so, um, like I said, 150 there, microwave rice, 100 grams of green peas, that I've microwaved them as well, that were frozen. Got the basso fish that I made in the air fryer. So I should come out quite nice. Do you reckon it'd be too hot, do you? <laughs> Can't get it out. Yeah, there you go. And then on top of that, I am just gonna turn that off for a second. Have um, five mils of virgin olive oil. Do you know what the funny thing is? I never actually wear it, I just eyeball it. So I'm on a hill, you'll be watching this. Uh, six grams that I'll do, and then salt. I do pink salt about that much. I don't know how much that is, but yeah. Bit of black pepper for digestion, and then my favorite sauce here. This sauce here is per 100 ml 37 calories, so you have to use quite a fair bit of that. And I'm in the off season anyway, so I eat, I am not going to eat no plain off food. Not bad, easy prep. Yo, where's the right side? Yeah? Monster a day keeps a heart attack away. Did you know that? That's true. Check that, Google it. Ask Hilly. Ask Jordan Peters. I have one can every single day about, about this time. So on the way right now to go take D to get her um, pick line on her arm, on her arm changed at the hospital. And after that, we're gonna go to the butchers get some bits and then after that I'm gonna go to the cheesecake shop and get myself a nice dessert for tomorrow's free meal because I'm sick and tired of making stuff myself it gets a bit fucking boring in it and I'm getting tired at the moment as usual there's absolutely no fucking park there's no parking in the hospital yes I'm having to wait on a different road outside the hospital but while I'm waiting for wife to come back just want to talk about why I became an online coach and a little bit of history about myself right so I'm a design engineer, I've got a degree in product design. I worked for multiple companies. I eventually then got offered a better job in Nottingham. Shit cameras dropping everywhere. And then I left my job in Coventry to move into Nottingham to work for a rival company which offered me way better wage and a way better role and a more hands-on experience and a hands-on job. Designing stuff like TV stands, TV brackets, your um, kiosks, your, ch your Tesco charging points, your gym bars, your gym kit, anything out of sheet steel, we were designing it on CAD, I was manufacturing it through the factory, um, doing the CAD design, doing the laser cutting, doing the sheet metal pressing. And then in March, I was contacted by my company, and they told me they were gonna lay me off because they couldn't afford to pay me anymore because of COVID, um, which was shit. Uh, fucking horrible news, it really, 
it brought me fucking down and then um, I got home, I spoke to my wife. She goes, right, you've been laid off for a month. Let's see what happens. She goes, push the coaching because I've been doing that part time for like two, two or three years anyway. I thought, right, let me push it. Let me try to get a few more clients. Let's see what I can do. Give, give my clients a lot more time. And the business really grew. I spoke to Hilly about stuff and then he was helping me along the way. I owe him a shit ton. He's basically made me a coach in the past six years because I've worked with him, no one else. And um, and then finally, I then applied for a redundancy payout from my company. They paid me out. Then a month later, me and Dee came to the hospital to come check her diagnosis for the lump on her neck. Uh, my old manager messaged me saying, Riz, we want you back. We can afford to have you back now. Um, and then I was pretty buzzing. And then five minutes later, D come in the car crying because she'd been diagnosed with cancer. So my whole life's going fucking past me, right? Um, got home, didn't talk for about an hour and a half. Rang Hilly, spoke to him. I didn't speak to anyone else. Rang up Hilly, rang up Ed, spoke to them. I went into work the next day and I said to him, I don't want the job. They were like, you can work part time, you can work this and that. And I goes, I don't want your job, I'm happy at home. And then um, it was the best thing I ever did. Um, Cause I was actually doing something that I really loved and loved doing. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy helping people. And am I earning as much as I was before? No. But am I happier? Yes. Am I looking after my wife? Have I been looking after my wife for four months? Yes. So in the end, it's all worked out good on my half. That's why I say to everyone, look, in life, shit happens, yeah? One door closes, another door opens. There'll be times where you're having battles. There'll be times where you're fucking down. There'll be times you're panicking. Times, you know, shit really hits the fucking fan and it's gonna test you. But you can't panic, you can't stress, you can't, do you know what I mean? You can't go into a mad mindset, you gotta carry on. And luckily, by chance, my business has grown and now I'm a full-time online coach helping people with fat loss. I like to help people with fat loss, so that's my speciality. And I do wanna shout out my boys and my coach, Hilly. Hilly, Deck, Seb, Luke, my mate Matt Barmer, Ed, all of these guys have fucking helped me out so much, yeah. And I'm not gonna act like I've learned everything myself, I've not. Hilly's taught me 99% of my knowledge, right? He's taught me how to apply it. Me and Hilly have worked together so long, we've tried every method, keto, low carb, every fucking diet we have tried it, every protocol, every supplement we've tried it, yeah. So I've been there, tried and tested the whole lot of it. It's fucking camera, yeah. We've tried and tested everything, so I've got shit ton of primary research there. The JP Forum for five or six years, I just stayed on there. All I used to do was I used to go on there, I used to listen. Just used to listen to what people had to say. Watch all of JP's videos about 20 fucking times. Scott Stevenson, I read all his book about five times. Just getting knowledge on knowledge on knowledge, that's all I wanted to do. And now by some chance, I've become a full online coach. It's not something that I set out to do. It's something that just happened with time. My wife's ringing me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you all right? Yes, and they're going to take the pick line out now. Yes, sir! <laughs> I ain't got to fucking wash it anymore. Okay, come on then. All right. Yeah. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, Mega news. Mega fucking news. So basically, um, these pick line that she's getting the chemotherapy through, they're taking that out now because the chemotherapy has stopped. And every day I have to wait till she showers to then take her arm thing off that covers it and protects it which is long so thank fuck good news mega happy yo just come to um, nottingham yeah to get some chicken breasts from my local butchers well, it's not local it's only butcher i go to because the best halal one there is the rest are pretty shit and nuts you tried them all didn't you yeah i tried them all they're all <laughs> shit or shit chicken you go into the shop and they're not even selling halal meat they're selling some fucking next level shit but yeah i'm gonna go get myself um some chicken breast, some chicken thighs, some chicken wings for D for the air fryer, and then gonna go to the cheesecake shop, get myself a cheesecake, get Jamie a cheesecake. Might get Matt one, but Matt's competing, so I can't get you one yet, Matt, bro. In six weeks, I'll get you a big boy one. What about me? Hey? What about me? You're gluten intolerant, you can't have it. <laughs> Your best, best meat shop in Nottingham. This boiler here, look. Okay. A1 halal meats, only halal shop that is a sirloin. Let's go inside. Thank you. 
How much do you want? Can I get um, 12 chicken breasts? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. We need 12 pieces on one And a Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me check. Make it to butterfly. Uncle, just cut it in half here, yeah. okay? Is that okay? Maybe. Yes. Boss. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. How are you? Okay. For, for YouTube, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Further. <laughs> Cut that in half. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Best butchers are even cut all my meat for me. Yeah. Take all the fat off. So when I go home, I just marinate it and bang it on the cooker. Yes, what's your okay. Thank you. Don't get anybody else in the video, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. I made a slight fuck up here, so um, normally I bring a meal out with me, but I didn't because I thought we'd be home on time. But this disappointment took a bit too long, so um, I'm gonna have to freestyle this meal outside. So I've got um, chicken tikka from the shop here, the um, turkey shop, some rice. Um, chicken's fine, I'll have to portion out the rice myself here um, in the shop, I don't want to eat too much. But like I said before, you can always adapt your meal plan wherever you go. Be realistic. Just because I've missed a meal doesn't mean I'm going to panic. I'm going to do a, a very similar meal from a restaurant or a takeaway. It's only the basic shit. Yo, so come out to the restaurant, right? I've got um, chicken breast, rice, salad. D's having that naan bread. D's having that naan bread and the chips. But this is a, it's a little bit too much chicken and a little bit too much rice, I can just tell by my eyes. So I'm probably going to have like one and a half of these chicken skewers and like half of that rice. And that will roughly do me, i rather under eat than over eat, the right bang on. Yo, I swear sometimes, yeah, I go to a restaurant, I'm like, yo, you got chicken and rice, they're like, no, we ain't got it. I have to pay fucking... I had to pay £11 to get chicken and rice, a naan bread, some lentils, yeah. And all I ate was half of it, because they don't understand. But I had to eat it, because what am I supposed to do? It just pissed me off a little bit, now I had to waste, I had to leave half of it there. But, and I hate wasting food, do you know what I mean? But, that's bodybuilding for you, isn't it? What are you supposed to do? Where are we going now? Going to the cheesecake shop. What for? It's actually called um, the Cake Solution. Um, Used to be called the Cheesecake Shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get myself um, a cake, yeah, for tomorrow because my free meal. I'm gonna get half a cake. I'm gonna have a quarter of that tomorrow for my dessert. I'm gonna get that. Well, who the fuck that was? Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get Jamie the Giant a cake as well because I said to him after this last show I was gonna make him a cake. But listen, he's lazy. I ain't gonna make him a fucking cake. You know why? Because if I poison him, <laughs> oh. I fucking he's gonna batter me. His wife's probably gonna batter me, uh, Mrs. Katie Giant, yeah. <laughs> and then Milos will probably kill me as well. And I'm getting him the cake because at the end of the day, listen, more is more, as Milos says, yeah. So the rebound will be good for him. And when he wins the show next year, I'm going to take full credit for the rebound. Never seen him so happy. Yeah, 
Do you want to say hello? Bye. <laughs> Enjoy the cake. Thank you. I've owned the shop. Give me this one to yeah, try. Vince, all of it. Yeah, he's given me that to try, which is that caramel mirror glaze, yeah? I'm going to um, use code for 10 at checkout for no discount. If you do sign up to the website, Cake Solution, you get £5 anyway off your first order. Check that out. <laughs> Manga free cake. They, they the less. Let's see if you really trap. They don't know about Central City, the best yeah. fucking artist right now. Uh, uh, Baddest. My favourite. Well, I lost my job, yeah? I lost my job. I was driving back home. And I was a bit pissed off, I was proper pissed off actually, I was upset as well, yeah? And then Central C, that song come on, straight back to it, and I was like, calm. I was like, calm, straight back to it. And that's when I started the whole coaching business as well, so I'm pretty gassed. What do you need again? I don't know who pays £3.50 for fucking sauce, yeah? Come to Aldi's and get it, save yourself some dollar. That's for um, free meals only. Maris Piper potatoes for air fryer. Yo, I don't know why people cuss tuna, yeah? We all, when I was broke at uni, I used to eat it, and I still eat it till this day, bang it. My coach was like, I get six eggs for breakfast, yeah? I was actually thinking, Boy him off and get these look. These are XL. But I'm not no cheat. Don't cheat on the diet ever, rarely, sometimes. <laughs> they get the normal, normal free range. Smell it. A Pakistani egg, that one I can tell. 100 percent that's gonna taste bang. Best white bread. Right, just got back in shortly. Sorted the house and sorted the bits out. Turbo has fucked up my Nintendo Switch and my PS Vita, but it is what it is. It is pre-gym meal time. I've got cream of rice, banana. That's 50 gram cream of rice, five grams of coconut oil, one banana, and some whey isolate made into a sludge. About five or six grams of salt in the cream of rice. And yeah, we're going to go gym in about an hour and a half with my boy Ed and absolutely annihilate shoulders. I'll let you know what my pre-drink for the gym is and what I'm going to take as well to support. Just going to marinate the chicken breast that I bought earlier and the chicken thighs that I bought earlier. So I'm um, just going to keep it really, really simple to be honest. Chicken breast. I'm going to go um, a little bit of black pepper on that. I do like black pepper. Black pepper on both. Some crushed chilli on this one, it's not much coming out of that is there? It's a bit of shit. I'm about to mess this up. Oh, it's looking like. I'm gonna go quite heavy on the chicken thighs because they're not really, that's more for um that's more for D to eat the chicken thighs. I'm probably not gonna eat them unless I have them tomorrow on the free meal but I'd rather have a burger and chips. Pink salt guys People think that salt is bad for you, yeah? Salt is key and salt is king. When you're drinking like four to five litres of water like I do daily, you need salt and salt does help for pumps in the gym as well. Oh yeah, gotta put some on the fucking thighs, innit? That's that done. Bit of the old um, turmeric. <laughs> Do you know what I honestly think? Yeah, I think there's not much taste to this, yeah. But because it adds a colour, it makes your food look more nicer. And if your food looks nicer, you're gonna want it more, which is then gonna make you wanna eat it more. And if you wanna eat it more, your digestion's gonna be better as well. 
you know I mean? When you eat food that doesn't taste nice or doesn't look nice, you don't really want to eat it and it fucks your stomach up. Um, this here is garlic granules, yeah? They bang. And then we're going to put on a little bit of basil. And on top of that um, chicken thigh, I do normally add some of this chilli and garlic seasoning from Aldi's. This one's bangs, so it's quite nice. So um, I won't put that on the chicken breast. Because I don't like the chicken breast to have this on it. And what I am going to add to the um, chicken breast is, I always add a little bit of olive oil, yeah? Like James Hollings had said, yeah, I'm sure it was James, always try to buy your olive oils in glass, yeah? I don't know why, but apparently they're better quality, I think so. I just put a little bit on that, yeah, just to help the marination out and put a, quite a fair bit on the sides. Yeah, I just find that um, when you use oil with the marination, it does generally like it keeps it a little bit fresher for a little bit longer and you see that style of spoon there what you fry stuff with i think the in it like samosas and shit i find this easier to marinate stuff watch this watch how quick it works i don't have to get my hands all dirty with the turmeric and that i end up getting yellow nails like pakistani people do all the time especially back home see you can actually see I've not marinated it enough. So I'm just gonna add some more seasoning to that. I'll show you lot the finish, finished fucking chicken breast in a minute. Turbo, you're such a good boy. Every time you come in the kitchen, he goes straight to his bed. Yo guys, so that's the chicken breast marinated, right? And that's chicken thighs marinated as well. That should last me around about three days. Chicken thighs are for D, so that's not even my, my business. But yeah, so I have two chicken meals a day. I have one fish meal a day. I have one tuna meal a day. Fish is tuna. I have one white fish meal, and then I have tuna and another meal, right? So two fish meals, technically, and I have two chicken meals. I have two whey meals as well. Try to keep it mixed up and balanced where I can because last time I'm a quite lazy bastard, right? And I was eating chicken every single meal. I was eating chicken five times a day and my stomach was just rejecting it towards the end. And then I went from five chicken to five fish and then that was all right for a bit and that fucked me as well. Yeah, so now from that I've learned a valuable lesson. Keep your food mixed up. What? What are you doing? You could sing. Told what? you so. I knew you told me. Everyone told me, but I don't <laughs> care. When I was working a... At my old job, it was a bit too difficult, a high stress job. I was waking up at five in the morning, going to sleep at 12 at night. I was just doing what I could do. But yeah, learn from my, learn from my mistakes. So, um, about to go to the gym at seven o'clock, so I've got 40 minutes, yeah? So what I do is, uh, my pre-gym drink is gonna be, the actual serving size of JP's Prepare is supposed to be two. But I just use one, I think that's enough. I don't really need two right now. If I'm absolutely fucking battered, I might use two, but if not, I just use the one. I'm gonna make my intra workout drink. So, right, I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with about that much salt, yeah, that's about 12 grams, I think. It doesn't. <laughs> the only way you can pick it up, yeah, how much grams of fucking salt you're putting in is if you got a drug scale and no, I've not got one of them because I swear I've done it before you keep grinding it to get to a gram and it just goes to three gram and I've got a mega salty fucking intro workout drink that I'm fucked um, 25 grams of HPCD highly branched cluster dextrin I did used to use the model dextrin and dextrose at one point but I try I find it fucks my stomach, my stomach up a little bit so I don't use it no more uh, we're going to use um, 10 grams of glutamine. I like that in the intra. I don't know what it does, but I just like it. And I've always used it, so 
I change it. I'm going to use a little bit of taurine. I'm going to try to get about three grams. Two grams there. A little bit extra in the pre. Uh, we've got some my protein EAAs. Guys, let me tell you one thing right now, yeah? Do not use the whey protein or any of the proteins from this brand because they make shit whey protein. The only thing that, that I use my protein for is literally EAAs if I really need to, yeah? And I'll use their creatine. I've run out of So normally I put creatine in there as well, but I literally ran out yesterday. I'm going to do 20 grams of EAAs. And that is intra done. I have also going to have today. Um, I really, really rate this supplement highly, yeah. It is not a steroid. It's supported by Savage Supplements, Pump and Shred. Guys, just so you lot know, Savage do not pay me anything, right? It's a company that I really like and a company that I really support. The owner's very, very, um, he's a good guy. He really knows what he likes and what he's talking about. So this actually contains 500 milligrams of L-carnitine, 100 milligrams of arginine, and 12.5 milligrams of Yo, Brent, your best fucking time what's how you pronounce this shit, bruv. Um, adenosine triphosphate. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you might know what that is. But that there, honest to God, this supplement is bad boy pre-gym, yeah? I normally use it in prep, but I've been using it in the off-season. It is massively helping with the pumps and the fullness, and I do really like it. So, yeah, guys, check them out. So I risk sent me on and give you a little discount as well. <laughs> what are you doing? OG. OG. High volume. Come on, G. Let's go. Oh, come on. Yes, we more. Come on. Five from here then. One. Come on. Can we lash you? Don't throw it, man. Four and five. Right, here we go for, come on. Two, no. two together, oh. All right. Yes, one more, no. one more, one more, one more. No. Oh. No. Slow down, slow down. Five, 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 partial them, partial them. Five, four, three, no. two, no. one. <laughs> OG. <laughs> OG, OG, OG trainer, the Charles Glass of Derbyshire. <laughs> Yo, so just got back from a shoulder session with my boy Ed, aka the Charles Glass of Derbyshire, yeah? The guy's old school. Good session, high volume, high intensity, in and out of 45 minutes, yeah? I train six days a week, it's a high volume approach. There's lots of working sets, so we do three working sets per exercise on the same weight. So today we did a um, side outs, a press, side outs again, and another press. We changed it up a little bit today on the chest, on the shoulder movements. The goal is to keep on training like this high volume six days a week for the foreseeable future. It really suits my physique. Guys, I'm only going to upload what in this video that I've done, I'm only going to upload one session, one set, right? I'm not going to bore you. And to be honest, when I go to train, I don't really want to keep pulling out the camera and getting people to record me. So I'm going to hire someone who's going to come in and record gym, gym sessions so I can upload them straight to Instagram raw. Hardcore training, yeah, none of this bullshit. Do you get me? So um, today for post-workout, I've got 400 grams of potatoes, 150 cooked chicken breast, and some veg. And then meal six you'll see later on, it's just a quick drink before bed. Yo, so post-workout meal at the moment is solid food, yeah? My food is still quite low, but I'm growing quite well on it. We put about 15 pounds on, Hilly's had to barely change my food. So post-workout today is green peas. I just, I just love the green peas at the moment, yeah? Um, I air fried the chicken and I air, air fried the potatoes as well, yeah? I got one, yeah, one for, 150 chicken. And I got these bad boys, yeah? Big up everyone 
who told me to get an air fryer because listen, I've never ever had cooking potatoes differently again. And then I have 400 grams of potato. And then what I do is I actually make a little bit of gravy, yeah? Because guys, a lot of people slate gravy, yeah? But if you actually check, so per 50 mil made to the instructions is only 16 calories. So that there, that there, the whole entire thing is 100 mil, that's 32 calories. I'm not going to use any other sources on it except for that gravy. So buzzing and I've got one more meal after this. And that is going to be kefir and whey, which I'll show you in a little while. Yo, so guys, it's now 10.53. I'm absolutely fucking battered, yeah? Last meal of the day is going to be 30 grams of mutant iso surge, 250 mils of kefir which I rate highly for digestion. My digestion has been mint since I've been using that. I'm also going to use the same health supplements that I use in the morning, again at night. And I'm also going to take my finasteride pre-bed to stop my hair falling out because my hair was falling out loads so I started using that. It's really, really helped. My one piece of advice is if your hair is falling out, try to use it as soon as possible. Also use better products when you're washing your hair. Just want to say guys, thank you for watching the video. I do really appreciate all the support that I've had and I will support that on Instagram. Let me know in the comment what you let me know in the comments what you want to see. If you want me to do anything better, tell me if there's anything that I'm missing out on. If you think there's anything I'm slacking on, tell me. I'm trying to be 100 percent transparent. Also, as I nearly forgot, pre-bed, I'm also going to take 2.5 IUs off GH. That my doctor gives me as well. Everything in the video is purely for entertainment, right? Guys, it's your bodies do what you like. But yeah, please let me know. Subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you want to see, what I can do better, what topics you'd like me to cover. Uh, uh, listen, guys, and listen, criticism is always welcome. That's the only way I can get better. Peace out, Pakistani Pampa.